type what is engineer's mindset. Okay, so in the previous video we talked about thermodynamics, an introduction, and talked about key concepts in thermodynamics. We arrived at the, the work done in thermodynamics, proved the formula for the work, and also gave some sign conventions. So we are going to now apply this formula, that formula into words. So let's say we have this problem here uh, 0.05 meter cube of gas and 6.9 bar expands reversibly in a cylinder behind the piston according to the law PV raised to the power 1.2 equals constant until the volume is 0.08 meter cube. Question says calculate the work done by the gas and sketch the process on a PV diagram. Okay, so one thing I want to pick out from this question is was that the gas expands reversibly in a cylinder behind the piston. It expands reversibly. So which means if it expands, it means that heat was added to the system and it also means that the system does work on the surrounding. So for expansion process, work done on the system, I mean work done by the system on the surrounding is positive. So you should expect that your work done will be positive because from the sign convention it has already proven that this is an expansion process so work done is going to be positive. Alright, so let's dive into the issue. First of all, we break down the given parameters. Initial volume of gas V1 is equal to 0 0.05 meter cube. Final volume of gas V2 is 0 0.08 meter cube. Also, over the initial pressure, initial pressure of gas P1 is given at 6.9 bar. Okay. What else? We don't know the final pressure. So final pressure is unknown. Is unknown. P2 is unknown. We are also given log. The log states that PV raised to the power 1.2 is equal to constant. So we can use K in place of constant. So this simply means that the log becomes PV to the power of 1.2 is equal to K. If P raised to the power 1.2 is constant, this simply implies that P1. V1 raised by 1.2 is equal to constant. Also, P2, V2 raised by 1.2 is also constant. That's, this is what the law implies. That P1, V1 raised by 1.2 is equal to a constant. So let's find the value of this constant. We know P1 to be 6.9 bar. So we'll bring it out 6.9 by 10 raised to the power 5 because 1 bar is equivalent to 10 raised to the power 5 newton per meter square. So take note. So 6.9 bar is equivalent to 6.9 times 10 raised to the power 5 newton per meter square, which is faster. Okay? Times initial volume V1 is 0 0.05. So times 0 0.05 raised to the power 1.2 is equal to K. This simply implies that K is equal to 6.9. By 10 to the power 5 by 0 0.05 to the power 1.2. So let's get that. That is 0 0.02746. Okay? So this simply implies that K, the value of K is simply 6.9 by 10 to the power 5 by 0 0.0276 to so have 18950. So this is the value of k. Alright. So if that's the value of k, it now implies that the law, therefore the law becomes becomes Therefore, the law becomes uh, uh, T V to the power of 1.2 equal to 18950. In place of K, 
we are okay, it's in my file, so okay. Therefore, we find pressure. Making pressure such a formula divide this side by three to power one point two. So that simply implies now that p v to the power of one point two divided by v to the power of one point two equals to eighteen nine five zero three divided by v to the power of one point two. So v cancels v. So that implies now that our pressure p is equal to eighteen nine five zero divided by v. The power of one point two. So that's our pressure. Okay, this is our pressure. Therefore, recall we said earlier that work done is an integral from initial volume to final volume of pressure and exchange in volume. So, for obtain the value of the pressure. All we need to do is to substitute this value of pressure into what the equation for work done. Therefore, work done is now equal to integral. Initial volume V1 is 0.05. So in place of V1, we have 0.05. Final volume V2 is 0.08. Okay, so we we'll have 0.08. The pressure is simply 18.950 divided by V to the power of 1.2. The v. Of course, we know that 18950 is a constant, so break the constant always out of the integral sign. So break this constant out of the integral sign, we have that work done W is equal to 18950 integral from 0 0.05, 0 0.08. We are left with the V over V raised to the power 1.2. Okay, so by indices, we can break uh, 1 over v to the power 1 point 2. We can break this. We have a fourth term is 18950 80 integral 0 0.05, 0 0.08. This becomes v to the power of minus 1.2 dv. Of course, by indices. By indices, when you know that divides a value in the power, you always change the power minus, which is this. So v by 1.2 dv. Alright, so if you have this, by the rule of integration, you are going to have 18950. So we integrate v to power minus 1.2, we have v minus 1.2 plus 1 by integration, all over minus 1.2 plus 1. Close bracket, put in the limit of integration 0 0.05, 0 0.08. Okay, so we we'll have this, and uh, of course, this is uh, equal to 18950. 18950. Okay, so this is V, of course, minus 1.2 plus 1 is minus 0.2, all over the same thing here, minus 0.2. Put in your limits 0 0.05, 0 0.08. So we have this. So uh, we can also bring out this minus 0.2 here. If we do that, we have this to be equal to 18950 divided by minus 0 0.2. So we have just v to the power of minus 0 0.2, upper limit 0 0.08. 0.05 lower limit, upper limit 0.08. Okay, so we have. So let's find 18950 divided by minus 0.2. 18950 divides minus 0.2. We have minus 94750. is equal to minus 94750. Zero into uh, let's put in the limits upper limit minus lower limit. So we have uh, upper limit of uh, 0 0.08 raised to the power minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.05 raised to the power minus 0 0.2. Okay, so we have that. So 0.08 raised to the power minus 0.2 gives us 
minus 1.6572. So we'll have this will be equal to, sorry, this was 1.6572. So this is minus 94750 into 1.6572. Seven five two minus zero point zero five square. Okay, so we have one point eight two, one point eight two zero six. Okay, so we have this. So let's have a evaluate this. We evaluate this and see what we obtain. Okay, so we compute minus 94750 times, so we have to compute 1.675, 1.6702 minus 1.8206. 1.6702 minus 1.8206. To have minus 0.1634. Okay, so this is equal to minus 94750. Minus zero point one six three four. Okay, so this implies that work done is now equal to minus nine four seven five zero multiplied by minus zero point one six three four. So we have fifteen four eight two point one five. Fifteen four eight two point one five. Juice. So we can try to convert this to kilojoules by dividing by 1,000. If we divide by 1,000, it means therefore that work done is simply 15.48 kilojoules. We see that the work done is positive simply because it's an expansion process. So the work done is positive and not negative. Alright. So the next question we will sketch the process on the PV diagram. So we cannot sketch the process on the PV diagram if we don't know the final pressure. Um, we can't sketch the process if we don't know the final pressure. So to do that, we simply we obtain the value of A. We obtain the value of A as uh, 18950. So recall also that we said if P is power one point two is constant. It means that P1, P1 is power 1.2 is constant, and also P2, P2 is power 1.2 is also constant. So it means if you do the value of the constant A, we can find P2. P2 becomes simply constant divided by P2 raised to the power 1.2, and that's the equal to constant is 18950. 18950 divided by P2 is 0 0.08 raised to the power 1.2. Zero point zero eight is power one point two. Zero point two four eight two. So P two is equal to eighteen nine five zero divided zero point two four eight two. So we have this to be as three point nine two bar. So if we want P one and we want P two, we now plot our P V diagram. This B, this R B. Okay, so P1 is 6.9 bar. So P1 is 6.9. Why P2 is uh, 3.92. 3.92 bar. Why P1? P1 corresponds to V1. So V1 is uh, V1 is 0 0.05. Yeah, this is for the 0 0.05. Meta Q and B2 corresponds to B2. B2 is uh, 0 0.808 Meta Q. Okay, so um, if we um, okay, if we trace these points together, uh, we we'll have. Since P, the law is P, V raised to power 1.2 is equal to constant, this is not a linear equation. It means it's not linear, it's not quadratic, but it's almost quadratic equation. It's almost quadratic. So you're going to have a slight form. A slight form. 
this guy's called P. So that P diagram is not quadratic because it's not square, but it's almost quadratic because it's one point two. So and it's not linear, so it's not going to be a straight line. So you think it's a four. So P that diagram that can be that. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video with another problem on work done in camel dynamics. Please um, like this video, share to your friends, and of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're old, also share your comment and thoughts in the comment section. Ask any question you want to ask, and of course, I'll respond to you any day, anytime. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.